I hope you're excited as we continue this audiobook reading and podcast after I read you the chapter. We break it apart as it relates to our own life, our life drama, thought battles, relationship struggles, and all that, and we get some inspiration. So what is this? Well, I'm Nurse Ann. I'm a nurse, a certified emergency and mental health registered nurse on still going of 30 years on the front lines of mental health and emergency. And so I created this six-part drama series in my free time to promote advocacy, awareness, and there's also action and adventure. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this chapter after I give you a quick idea of how you can get a hold of it. If you want to join this book club, check it out. There's a link on my website. My website is nurseand.com. That is Anne with an E. And there's a link. You can get the complete season, which is the Mental Files first six stories edition. And I call it a season because this is going to be a television drama series, especially with your help. So quick recap of book one, and then we'll jump into book two. Book one is the Mental Files Sheep Among Wolves, where you met Officer Leon and caseworker Lita, the nurses, the paramedics, the caseworkers, the church, the community, and everyone trying to rescue those in crisis of mental, physical, and spiritual. And the shifts are 24-7. They're battling those forces of darkness, seen and unseen. They were able to rescue the naive young lady who was trapped on the street, battling thought disorders and hallucinations, while her so-called boyfriend was trying to lure her to the other way. See how they were able to help and what other danger, action, romance, and adventure ensued on that tale. And then we're jumping into book two, The Mental Files, Dr. John Doe. And if you want to follow along on the nursehand.com, there's a podcast tab. You just click on that. You can watch them all in order for free. And you can also join the book club. You're going to love it. And it's almost free on Kindle anyway. So we're going to jump into that. I'll give you a quick recap of book two, Dr. John Doe. The officer and the caseworker had rescued the confused elderly man who was running in traffic screaming that he was a doctor. And nobody really knew who he was, if he had any family. They had to take him to the ER from his bleeding head wound. And then the ER, um, they just think he's a homeless guy who's delusional and psychotic. They don't know who he is. And they can't get any information, so they sent him to the mental health facility. He's arrived there now. And um, they're trying to figure out who he is but the jaded staff member hung up on the family because the family didn't have any information to identify the nurse got frustrated about that but hopefully we'll find out and in the last chapter was rekindle where leon and lita went back on thinking about going back on a date in the first um book you followed their romance she wasn't really sure there was some red flag she doesn't know if she can trust him again so you'll get to find out what happens on that romance. So let's jump into The Mental Files, book two, Dr. John Doe. We're in chapter six, Mystery Man Identified. I think we're about to find out who this mystery man really is. Let's see. So chapter six, back on the mental health ward, the staff continued to care for the variety of different patients. Addiction, depression, Suicidal thoughts, paranoia, and personality disorders presented unique treatment challenges for all. Angela and the treatment team continued to attempt to reorient the John Doe patient. Unfortunately, he remained in a confused and disturbed state. And the intermittent episodes of incontinence did not seem to help his level of confidence especially when some of the other patients complain loudly about the smell. After the nurse gathered the group to the day room for lunch, she returned to the desk for the incoming call. The caller on the line was furiously ranting, Where is my father? the caller demanded. After obtaining the clarifying information she needed, Angela was relieved to find out that this was the family of the mystery patient. We'll be right over, give us 30 minutes, exclaimed the daughter of John Doe. Ecstatic that the mystery was about to be solved, the nurse contacted the rest of the treatment team. 
and she was not about to let her spirits be crushed when the jaded technician commented, it's not even visiting hours. Mm -hmm. Seriously, she retorted, we're about to find out who this guy is and who he belongs to. Sighing loudly, Angela returned to her duties. Happily, she relayed the information to the confused elderly man that his family was on the way. Assisting him to his room, she helped him get cleaned up and changed. I don't have any family, he blankly replied. Angela felt sadness at his response, but remained hopeful that he had a caring family. We'll find out shortly, she thought to herself. And guess what? That's the end of chapter six. And next time on the podcast slash audiobook, it's going to be chapter seven, meet and greet. You're going to have some fun with the team. I think they're on an outing, but we'll find out. As I said, you can follow this whole season, this whole series at nursean.com. There's the book, a link for that. There's also the podcast tab, along with many more tabs for your inspirational wellness for mind, body, and spirit. So as promised, now we break it apart as it relates to our own lives. We have thought battles, relationship drama, just struggles in life. And I also created three devotionals. And we're actually going to go to two of those today. And there's a link on the website for those. We're going to go to two of those today to just kind of jump into some life situations. And the first one is from Word Puzzles Devotional. What is this? You know, it's interesting words linked to everyday life, inner thought struggles, and get some biblical prescriptions get your dose of wisdom and inspiration. I want you to overcome and thrive and have hope for your life journey, medicine for your soul. So today is from the Word Puzzles devotional and it's an A to Z format and today is going to be from the letter W and the word today is wait. Most of us know what that means. <laughs> I don't know that we always practice it. I know I don't always but of course it means to pause, check, stand by or hold back. So, getting into that, what are you in a hurry for to attain, to achieve, to get? Could a better decision possibly be achieved by taking more time to uncover more details? Pray about it. Search the word. Ask for wisdom. I believe we are given clues and warning signs on the path of our decisions especially the major ones. At times our foot can be pressing on the pedal, dangerously rapid, so ease up, slow down, wait. Guys, I have to tell myself this all the time. Um, in this, I want it now, society. That might not be a popular theme. We all want it now. <sighs> Scrolling so fast on social media, just everything is so instant, but anyway. We may be accustomed to instant gratification and transfer that mode to our decision making, usually to our detriment. Mm -hmm. Psalm 37 4 encourages us to apply the principle of waiting on what is best. When we wait on and delight in what God can provide, we will eventually realize that He is more than capable of giving us the desires. Of our hearts. Even in a book of woe like Lamentations, we find more evidence about the benefit of waiting. Verse 325 reminds us that we can trust God, trust that God is good when we seek Him and wait on Him. Our vision is limited. But God sees the whole picture. Though waiting can seem like weakness, Psalm 27, 4, 14 infuses us with courage and strength to truly wait on the Lord. So that's from Word Puzzles Devotional. And then let's, before we run out of time, we'll get into something else. And this is from my brand new devotional. I just dropped it for the new year. It's Biblical Medicine for Real Life. It's called Inspiration Battles Devotional. It's Biblical Medicine for Real Life. And it's soul searching with a dose of encouragement. We don't want to get discouraged. So today I picked something along the same lines of what we just read. And this is also an A to Z format. And today is... R and it's ruin. So kind of along those same lines, you know, thinking about the decisions of our life and 
slowing down and waiting. It says, what choices have led to wastelands of wilderness in your life? Did an impulsive investment leave you with an unfavorable balance sheet? Has a relationship betrayal left you feeling buried under pain or guilt? Has a habit or addiction led you down an ominous road? One of our biggest regrets that will hopefully lead us to new choices can be ruined testimonies, testimonies that leave others wondering if the abundant life in Jesus is really something to pursue. If our actions have caused others to doubt the goodness of God, we are wise to pick up the tools of repentance with godly sorrow and get to work rebuilding trust and broken promises. It's not too late to make a U-turn. Make a turnaround if you are standing on a self-imposed pile of destruction and rubble. You may need the help of and counsel of co-laborers as you reconstruct your future with building blocks that will last. The efforts may be arduous, but the rewards will be eternal. God will reward you, reward your intentions and assist you to reach the completion of goals that will be a blessing to others and bring him glory. I want you to have a blessed life. And I know we're all faced and bombarded with decisions. We usually want to do what seems um, quick and easy and have that instant gratification, especially if it's emotional and emotional decision. But let's remember our lives are an investment. I have to remind myself. I have to let God remind me of that every day. So no matter how far along you are, we're faced with those decisions. So let's think about that. And so I hope that you will come back for the next nurseand.com podcast and audiobook reading. There's going to be more action and adventure along with advocacy and awareness. And I'll see you over at nurseand.com. Make great decisions. Take your time and have a blessed day.